Hey guys, Crashies here from Team Envy's Valorant team, and today I'm gonna to be going over Sova's kit and how to get the best out of it. So guys, the first thing of Sova's kit that I will be talking about is his recon dart. It comes up every 35 seconds and it's super overpowered. Since it comes up every 35 seconds, it's super important to get it off at the start of a round. So for example, if they're not in B main here and you don't hear them, you want to add a charge to the bounce and bounce it like that. If there's no one in B main, you could rotate. Um, you have shocks for mid, you have your recon dart, which will be coming up in about 20 seconds from now, because it's, it's already been like 10 seconds since you know they're not in, in main. Since it recharges every 35 seconds, it's super, 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 super important that you get it off at the start of the round. I can't stress that enough. Um, I, I watch a lot of Sovas that don't really know that you should be using his dart at the start of the round. Uh, they hold on to it for 45 seconds, 30 seconds, even a minute because they don't hear anything, but it, it's way more valuable just to use the dart um, just because you get guaranteed info. And like I said, 35 seconds, you get that right off, right off the timer. Next on Sova's kit that I'm gonna be talking about is his drone. So Sova's drone is probably the second most overpowered ability in the game. Um, a lot of Sova's don't know that you can actually go over walls and trees and objects if you hold spacebar and jump before you actually use it. So for example, I'm gonna jump before I use it, keep holding spacebar, and as you guys can see, I go over the tree, over the wall, I'm still holding spacebar, and I'm still going high over the wall. So this will actually catch a lot of your enemies off guard because they won't be expecting the drone to go over like objects as high as it is. And it'll probably get your team some free kills, to be honest. So guys, the next ability that I will be talking about is actually gonna be Sova Shock Darts. So the best thing about Sova Shock Darts, in my opinion, is you can stop people from diffusing the spike and planting the spike. So for example, let's say someone is gonna be planting generator here on A, I could bounce a shock off the wall and it'll shock them for 90 damage. So when they're planting the bomb, they're not looking at the at the generator, right? They're looking at like the wall. So they're gonna be able to actually see the shock bounce off the wall, which will either make them get off, which will get your team more time to rotate or you can fast hit or fast retake, or they're gonna just take the 90 damage and that's free 90 damage for you. And it's just free. Um, another example for Sova Shock Darts is if you have the bomb planted here, Let's say they smoke you off. You could actually ping where, where the spike is planted and hold your shock darts out. And you could just shock where you planted the spike. Super free, 90 damage, like I said. 90 damage is the most they can take from a Sova shock dart. So you kind of want a Sova shock dart. Save your other one, spam a little bit because you're, they're not gonna be still defusing the spike, right? You need to save your other shock dart until they tap the spike again or if they're pushing you. You could save it, shock it off a wall, the thing I can't stress enough is you want to save your, your second shock dart because if you already send one at the spike, you're hitting them for 90 damage if they tap it, right? So they know that you also have another one left or you're going to send your other one fast. So they're going to get off, they're going to get scared, they're going to say, guys, I, I can't defuse, I I'm 1 HP. Which will also get confusion in their communication, which is just another bonus for you. All right guys, so the last ability that we'll be talking about is gonna be Hunter's Fury, which is Sova's ultimate. It costs seven orbs, and it's probably one of the hardest ultimates to master in the game, but don't let that scare you away. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys nice tips to get you guys at least a few free kills. So for example, let's say we're on Ascent. A lot of people don't know that you should actually combo Hunter's Fury with a dart or with a drone. So if I dart this tree, I wanna pop my ult before the dart even scans or gets on the tree, so I'm ready to ult. It catches a lot of people off guard. They're not ready for it. They're looking up to shoot the dart. They're not ready for my ultimate. Um, another example is to use your drone. So remember the tip that I gave earlier with the drone to hold your space bar so it gets high? That'll get you a lot more range to tag an enemy that's hiding on a site or just tucked away in a corner. You tag them and then they start to run away and you just ult. And the biggest tip that I can give for Sova ult is you want to drag it while they're running. You always want to keep dragging it. See how it's moving right there? You don't want to just leave it straight like this. You always wanna keep dragging it like this. It will always get you more kills dragging than just keeping it straight. So guys, we've come to the end of the video and I'm gonna actually give you two kind of more advanced secret Sova tips that a lot of people don't know actually. So you guys are in for a little treat. So 
A really good one is adding two charges to a recon dart and having your team push with it. So for example, let's say you add two charges, right? And you full max charge because you want it to be annoying for the enemy team. So you'll do it like this and watch how it bounces. See how slow and annoying that is? And they have to turn around to kill that, right? So while you're doing that, your team is here, they're walking up and the dart, it hasn't even hit the wall yet. And the enemy team's looking at the dart, right? They're all like, oh my gosh, the dart, I have to kill it. While your team is already pushed up in here, getting free kills. But you as a Sova need to call that because you have that playmaking ability with your dart that you could lead your team into a free round win. And another advanced tip that I have is using shock darts also for Killjoy or Cypher utility. So let's say for example, you know Killjoy or Cypher's playing B and he has, let's say a, a trip here or Killjoy has his mo her mollies and alarm bot. You could bounce it off windows, you could bounce it off walls and it will destroy all the Killjoy utility. So if you guys, if your team wants to hit B, you bounce it off the wall, you destroy everything that Killjoy or Cypher has and you just run to the site for free and, and they have nothing and they're just calling their rotates over, they're panicking. Uh, it, it's super good to do. Uh, you should try and make it a habit to be honest because it's super annoying at, as a Killjoy and Cypher player to just have all your stuff destroyed, right? So try to make it a habit to destroy wherever Killjoy Cypher playing and you could also not even hit the bomb site. You could just call your team to hit the other site because like I said, you're, the Killjoy or Cypher has nothing left. so. They're gonna be calling rotates over. They're gonna be pretty panicked because they don't have anything watching their site with them. It's just them, right? So it's it's super, super broken just to make it a goal of yours to break Killjoy and Cypher stuff in a round. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully my tips help you and this will definitely get you the most out of Sova's kit. Um, Sova's kit is probably the most, uh, I would say intriguing to learn. So these tips and tricks will definitely help you in your next ranked game. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you want more content like this.